Hello again and welcome back to Byzantium. We uh, we started screwing over the Ottomans last time and currently succeeding on it. We'll see how long that actually lasts. Because, well, we still have a uh, advantage in numbers, but we need to start getting uh, some of uh, the Ottomans allies out of this to, uh, to get ourselves a little bit more, well, put ourselves in a little bit better position here. With this, uh, Salads and Patriots, I'm pretty sure that Omen will be uh, will be tempted to to get out of this war pretty fast. They're currently at 36, which I think will mean that I need to yeah pay quite a lot even so. So I could always bribe them out of the war. It will be extremely expensive though. So uh, that's probably not what we will be doing. Instead, we will be uh, simply waiting for for things to happen here. The Ottoman uh, war exhaustion is getting high. They still have uh, they still have medium though. So once you actually take in uh, taking Constantinople and otherwise start to cause some serious war exhaustion on them by taking these western lands we should be able to force basically any PC we want so uh, we'll see how it turns out as you can see here the fact that we hold Constantinople or the siege of Constantinople is currently put us on, putting us in a very good position in terms of uh, being able to screw over the Ottomans once they actually decide to, to march on us but even so it's a little bit Weird that they actually choose to run the long way around rather than just go over the straight again. But it's probably because of the uh, the sieges over here. But as you can see, uh, we are basically in the driver's seat now. I, the Ottomans don't actually have that many troops themselves. They have this 26k stack. They have that stack that ran away. No idea where it actually ended up. They have these 12,000 men. So Ottoman troops themselves is basically uh, starting to be a a lost a lost art almost and apparently I was just a little bit too too slow to deal with those rebels but that doesn't really matter because as you can see Bohemia why is Bohemia at war with them have they also don't don't tell me that they declared war on them as well um, they probably did though Bohemia Denmark Sweden and Ukraine why the hell would you they declare war on them Bohemian conquest of Semplen isn't that yeah it's up there so I don't know why Bohemians are actually causing me trouble here by sieging these southernmost provinces, that doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, even so, what I'll be doing then is probably use these guys as sieging uh, units and try and deal deal with it that way. Apparently, Bohemia, Denmark, all them, all their troops, all stationed there. So I'll be sending these guys to do some sieges and the remainder to simply stay. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. Apparently the Poles uh, white pieced out a little bit early for me, but still this should make me uh, or give me a safe, <laughs> safe bet here in the term that these guys can actually walk on the Polish lands. And also the fact that the Bohemians have joined in puts me in a very bad position because, well, that means that sieges will be a little bit more annoying, thanks to the fact that I'll probably not be in charge of uh, of all of them, like here and here. And that also means that. It actually limits the amount of land that I can actually uh, hand back to to whom I want. So that's a little bit bad, but even so, we should be able to, to live with that. I think I'll go ahead and deny them privileges and rather take that extra merchant because I need money. I've already had to take one loan. So we'll probably send him to. Uh, I think we'll actually send him to the end, have him collect from trade. And yes, we'll hopefully now be able to, uh, to pull or at least force the Ottomans to give me some of the lands that I want uh, back here at least a little bit of them so apparently Bohemia and Denmark are starting to, uh, to cause me some issues here with this, their sieges so I should potentially uh, consider basically going over here and start causing some trouble on the Ottoman heartlands but for now I'll simply sit back and I'll work so to do its work and well that's basically the plan here we'll see how it works out as you can see, we have done something a little bit positive here. Omen and Persia are out of the war. Which is pretty damn sweet, if you ask me, because their troops basically were a lot of the Ottoman uh, force here that simply down to uh, right under 80,000 men. And that basically means that now the, uh, the Ottomans are basically going to suffer a little bit more because it's their troops now that will be, uh, be sacrificed in this war. I can actually force them to hand over most of the lands that's actually part of Maria uh, now once I get the diplomatic power and that is probably what I'll do, I'll probably also take the money uh, but even so we'll, we'll be using, uh, it'll probably take a little bit more time to actually get things going uh, and such 
Having them release hunger is probably also a good idea. Then I can probably peacefully vassalize them again to take the rest. So yeah, we'll probably keep this going for a little bit while longer and see what happens. Currently the PC that the Ottomans are offering me, it will give me 101.2 aggressive expansion, so no, I will not be taking that deal good sir. I have I have <laughs> I have a wish to live. I'm I'm not that uh, that's foolish that I'll actually go for for <coughs> excuse me, for a deal that would actually screw me over so much that I'd most likely um, end up uh, end up crying on, on a bench somewhere. What we'll be doing now, thanks to these guys, basically having put themselves in a little bit of trouble, is try to fly or send my troops over to Byzantium itself, or Corfu in this case, so that I can actually uh, try and get myself, get some troops over to North Africa, which should help me out pretty damn much. So we'll see how that turns out. If these, I can actually get these guys or this 12,000 man army over to Africa, it should be enough to uh, to repent or repel. The attackers that's currently there. So we'll see how that plan actually turns out. We also started sieging some of the uh, some of the uh, the lands here proper, and that should be enough also to force the Ottomans a little bit more onto uh, the terms that we want. There we go. We have gotten Khorasan out as well, and with this, the Ottomans or the Ottomans' allies are slowly but surely dwindling. Uh, it's cost me a lot of prestige, though, but I can live with that because well. Uh, once this war is over, the Ottomans won't really have that much uh, left. They uh, they will basically be open for an attack straight away, I think. As you can see, the war exhaustion is going up. There is no denying that. The only relation right now is that my people have given me a call for peace, which is something I detest, I dare say. So what we will be doing here is probably aim for, or we'll just make a peace right now. That is, and try and get as much as, or try and force the Ottomans to give up as much as they. Let me start over. Force the Ottomans to give up as, as much land as possible. I'm pretty sure also the Mamluks and everyone else will simply uh, now pile on them. Thanks to, uh, well, the hurt I have been giving them. Apparently only those promises that I can hand over to Maria, but it will help. And also Hungary will be released, so that's also good. I'll need some money back because I've taken three or four loans, and I don't like taking that many loans because, well, it screws me over. See, so, yeah, what else can we release? Wallachia? Do we want to release Valakia? Probably do. Release Valakia, Golden Horde. I can actually get up to 80%. Uh, well, as I said, if I can just get the Mamluks up and going again, I think things will be all. Things will probably solve themselves. Yeah, I think I'll probably go for this deal, or we'll make it a little bit more interesting. If I give Mamluks Araka. And not Hammer. Where the hell is Hammer? There we go. And instead, we'll give them Aleppo. Where is Aleppo? Where the hell does it? Do they no longer have a core to it? No, they do not. Well, then we'll simply hand over to Don and Terabulus, I think. So let's see if we can make the deal we want. Sidon, Terabulus, and instead of Araka. Well, that seems out to work out in. As far as I'm concerned, and should screw over the Ottomans pretty damn severely. So we'll simply have to. Well, I can actually send those demands right now. I'll also grow Maria, and also the fact that everyone else is still at war with them is a positive thing. So also with this, I can now try and get these two guys to actually get into a vassalization or vassalize them, and then peacefully annex them uh, further down the line. And that should basically put me now in. Uh, in the driver's seat, I dare say, for most of uh, most of how things are going. Apparently, I haven't actually been doing that shabbily, and apparently, this war only lasted four years and still spanned nearly two or three episodes. So I find that very unsettling because, well, it shouldn't have lasted that long. And also, I need to get my troops in order again. And right now, that is a nightmare. I'm a little bit surprised that I actually have manpower left. Uh, so what we'll be doing is going army maintenance. Wow. That is not numbers that I like to see. I only took three loans. Wow. Uh, we also need to repay these because the interest is probably what's killing me. I should potentially also have find that guy far or earlier. So yeah, we'll be using this now to uh, to get ourselves up and going. But with Hungary and most likely Valakia too, we'll also be going for diplomatic relations, or we'll be under the limit for a little while. Hungary out. 
Bulgaria accept the vassalization. So basically Hungary, Wallachia, and I do not have a positive. They're actually Muslim. That's that's racist. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, what? I, wh who am I kidding here? It's it's pissing me off though that they are Muslim because uh, as far as I know they are they aren't supposed to be, <clears throat> and that's what pisses me off. It's it's nothing more than that. I did not mean to offend anyone. Uh, you have my apologies. It simply uh, it simply slipped up. I'm from Norway. We don't really uh, we don't really feel that strongly about about stuff. So we we could we well at least I. And sometimes racist and mean without really meaning it, without really trying. So my apologies if anyone felt uh, felt that I was uh, was being uh, disrespectful and mean. Why the hell did I hand over Monastir? Well, it doesn't matter. I need a free guy, and let's see, Dana, no COVID action, support rebels. Wow, this is a lot of patriots. Hungarian patriots uh, is basically what I will be. Uh, will be wow it's actually pretty damn cheap so yeah we'll be going for the Hungarians and I'll be still be trying to make these guys my vassals and I'm fairly uh, making these guys my allies or trying to even think about it was a bad move so uh, with that in mind we'll be re re uh, reorganizing my troops and hopefully now we have the uh, the grounds we need to cause some real damage to the Ottomans there we go Hungary has been vassalized for the second time this game and with that we are basically now getting ourselves into some pretty good position here on uh, all continued wage of war against the Ottomans so although it took forever to actually get that first uh, victory in war against them it will most likely pay off uh, at least I can hope it will but uh, we'll have to see how how it actually pays off because I I sacrificed a shit ton of prestige in that uh, sorry uh, of prestige in that war simply to get simply get myself out of it so uh, we'll have to see how that turns out I also need to rebuild these armies or these armies but first I will be uh, I will be focusing on getting myself uh, or getting my loans paid back so uh, we'll have to see if we actually have the money to wage another war on the Ottomans once uh, once the truce is over but we probably will have so uh, we'll have to uh, consider what we'll do we actually got another level of military attack, it's now at uh, 19, which is one more than the Ottomans. We also have military attack plus 2.5, and some new uh, infantry as well as the fact that we can now build a war college. But we have some things that need to be dealt with before that. Uh, among them it is the uh, the issue of paying back the loans, and otherwise just, uh, just causing some, well, other issues. But as I said, the goal now will be to pay back loans and then we'll be ready for another war, hopefully in five years time. And that is uh, just, no, three years. Hopefully the uh, the Bohemians will still be at war with them then, because if the, so, we can keep the war exhaustion high. And that should be enough to uh, to put the, the scales in <laughs> or everything uh, at a, basically at our mercy again. And we'll probably go for, I should potentially fabricate a claim on something here just to be able to uh, to let's go ahead and fabricate a claim to Albania uh, basically just so I can use that again rather than the holy war because all in all overall we will be losing more battles than we'll be winning mostly because my allies will be splitting up uh, siege troops uh, in the east most likely with uh, with Muscovy here I'm pretty sure they will help me again so I have no I have no doubt they will and two or three more wars and the Ottomans will simply be done for. Then I can start to force them to release uh, other things. But even so, as you can see, it's just Ottoman cores, so uh, there will be colonizations against me. But since it's basically Ottoman lands, I'm pretty sure I can avoid them for the most part. Thanks to having Poland and uh, Muscovy as my allies. So it should be fine uh, on that score. And also integrating Bulgaria and Hungary here will... Uh, Basically, put me in a position where I'll be the only one who will be able to actually grab lands from them. But uh, as I said, we'll simply have to see how, how it plays out because as of now, we are, as one might imagine, uh, as far as I, I'm concerned, definitely the ones who are in the driver's seat. I still need to take Trebizond simply because of the fact that they have a bunch of my provinces, all the Greek provinces that's needed. But now that I actually have a goal or uh, how should I put it? A clear goal. It makes things uh, so much easier. But as you can see, uh, I will 
only be saving up money, I will not be buying anything. I could of course build a university, I realized, which will give minus 5% on tech costs and a lot of other things. Uh, normally used for diplomat just uh, just now, so uh, yeah, we'll simply gain power through, uh, through the usual means. So uh, we'll have to wait for the truce to stand and then we'll go for another war against the Ottomans. I was lucky and got an admiral from a event. And that admiral has actually six in shock, so at least now I can compete with the Ottomans in the shock department of my uh, my admiral. <clears throat> also, considering that, I should potentially start uh, building up my uh, my troops again. Apparently, Spain is causing me some trouble here in Genoa, so we'll be continuing or st starting to cause some trouble there too. We are starting to save up some money, and unfortunately, the uh, the war with or the other guys' war with the Ottomans is done, but even so, as you can see, they have 54,000 troops, but they uh, they don't have enough manpower to sustain it. They, get six, get, they gain 650 a month, and thanks to that, I'll most likely be able to declare a war. Counter Reformation ends, which is too bad. It gave some pretty nice bonuses, uh, except for the extra costs, of course, to ideas and such. But even so, it was it wasn't really that bad. Let's see, do we have a good guy here? Unfortunately not, and thanks to that we'll, we still have a pretty good army, so <clears throat> we can't actually complain. As long as the Ottomans don't gain level 19, we will have 0.5 better tactics to them. Conquest of Kolm against Denmark, Novgorod, Trebizond, Bohemia and Württemberg. The fact that Bohemia is in this is basically scary, but also Spain is a war with Poland, it seems. So basically, I could potentially this <laughs> or this could force me to fight the war against the uh, the Ottomans alone. In the worst case scenario, so I'll go ahead and accept. Hopefully, Bohemian troops won't actually come into my lands because if they do, uh, I'm most likely going to be the one in trouble. So we'll just go ahead and place our troops at the Ottoman borders and basically prepare for uh, for another war against them, rather than cause ourselves some extra trouble by fighting the Bohemians. And it's not that far, I think, before we can actually declare war on them again. 14th of April. So I think I should actually go ahead now and get the army maintenance up. I'm prob pretty sure that the fleet won't actually be able to do anything, so we'll be parking it once we actually declare war. But uh, until that point, we will be uh, we will be waiting, and we will most likely cause some trouble. Here, the Ottomans have a lot of troops stationed already in Constantinople. But that shouldn't really bother us that much. <clears throat> Because apparently I can have Monastir and Macedonia handed over to Maria, and then I can simply take these three for for myself, or release Epirus and uh, what's the other one, Albania, and then peacefully uh, vassalize and annex. I'm a little bit unsure if these guys, no, apparently not. So without further access, foreign support for rebels, as you can see, Republic of Tradition, luck, positive stability, and all that is causing some trouble here. So I actually need to get those. Uh, those things to start causing them some trouble. Oman, Iraq, Tripoli, Khorasan, Persia, and Sindh. So we do have a very substantial list of, of allies and generally troublemakers. We became papal controller for some weird reason, so I'll be doing this then. Papal actions, Call for Crusade. There we go. I locked down on that one. Let's see, who else do we want to try and invest in? These guys, apparently. Can I ally these guys? I can, but unfortunately, I can't because they're in a union with Austria. Huh. See the Mamluks, can I actually ally? Yeah, I can actually ally the Mamluks, so we'll be waiting one more month. Nope, I got that extra guy. And dragging the Mamluks into this is probably a very wise move. We have completed the mission. I have actually never thought about that mission. Become Emperor, not something we'll be doing. We will be improving our prestige though, for that extra stability uh, hit, help, I know how to call it. And we'll be placing these two, three troops, I guess, on the border regions to be ready for, uh, for warfare. I'll probably use this one for sieging purposes. So I'll be splitting it up to, uh, to get it ready. And then we'll, I think, declare war on on the annoyance that is the... Uh, <clears throat> the uh, the Ottomans. Let's see, and where, where that general of mine there is. And you'll be put in charge here, rather than... Michael. So uh, I'll just get my troops in position and then we'll be declaring war, but that'll probably be the next episode because we are out of time once again. But if you we take a quick look now on the alliance map, 
if I drag Poland, the Mamluks, and Muscovy into this, the Mamluks will most likely keep Tripoli and Oman in check, I think, uh, potentially. Also, handing over some more. Uh, as you can see, they have 21, they have 10, Tripoli has 10, Oman probably has about the same t same amount, and also uh, Savoy, 9,000, Maria, 6,000, Bulgaria. No idea what actually had his troops over here, probably. 7,000 Hungarians and uh, 5,000 Bulgarians. Should help with quite a lot, so. The only problem is the, the war against Bohemia here because they're apparently watching on me now. So if I can just get my ass out of this one, we should be uh, should be just fine. Before that, we'll most likely see just uh, down south here. So I'll place these guys over there until we have uh, until we have complete control, I guess. I will be checking one last thing though before I leave or before we end this one, and that is whom I can actually call into this uh, if anyone. So let's see there, 24. Apparently the Bohemian troops ran somewhere else. Let's see, who will actually join this one? Uh, Muscovy and the Mamluks. Poland? No. Well, it doesn't really matter. Poland, as long as they block the Ottomans' entrance from the east, they're doing more than enough. As long as they don't give them military access, I'm pretty sure they won't actually, thanks to their opinion. Let's see here. Or maybe they will. Where are the Ottomans? Well, where are the Ottomans? I have no idea, but apparently they are on the bonus side. What the hell, are you serious? Or am I just blind? There they are. Polish opinion on Ottomans are at minus 59. The fact that we have been at war several times doesn't apparently matter. But even so, thank you for watching, please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and we'll be declaring war on the Ottomans next time. Bye!